Okay, um, so today we are doing something really cool, and yeah, I hope you guys are going to like this. It's a uh, new, like, crafting recipe and a new item that is really cool. As you can tell by the title, it's an ender bow. So what this is going to do, you know, you just make a crafting bow like you normally would, as such. And when we do this, you see, it's going to give us our ender bow here. Back. Yeah, you have your ender bow, shoot an arrow to teleport. So, if you can't guess what this bow does, you have problems. Seriously though, get that checked out. But I will go ahead and demonstrate it now. And if you haven't guessed, our ender pro ender bow, it doesn't do anything special. It's just regular bow. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And the, as you see, in fact, it is an ender bow, and we will get teleported to wherever it lands. And we take a little bit of damage, just like a regular ender pearl. And yeah, this works just like a regular bow. It takes real ammo, so you know we want to teleport over there again. That's where we were. And see, we're back over here now, and there's a lot of craters. I uh, wonder how that could have happened. <laughs> yes! Lava on the thing! Lava on the thing! Uh huh. So, yeah, you see, it takes our arrow. So, I'll go ahead and just move a little bit. See, now we're at 61 arrows and everything. It took a little bit more damage. Really cool. And, you know, the crafting recipe will work either way. So, you know, it'll work this way. If you want to try that, just like a regular bow recipes, then of course it will work this way. So, yeah, that's like two bow crafting recipes. And you know, we are ender bow, you narrow to teleport. Now, this is actually kind of interesting how this works. To determine whether the player gets to the objective or not, it actually isn't testing for an item name, ender bow, because otherwise the player could simply just rename an uh, uh, arrow or a bow to ender bow, and they would be able to kind of. You know, they'd be able to cheat the system, get a free ender bow, or dirty pigs. But yeah, so what it does, it actually uses the item lore because you can't, you know, you can't customize that to determine whether the player gets the objective or not. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how, how the crafting actually works first. So let me go ahead and here, hop into game mode one. As you see, it's testing for the block relative and this one. So it's testing if this block matches is that block and it's doing the exact same thing on the other side just there's that way and there's this way so you can actually change the recipe if you want to be different but it's just the way I want it to be and once if those blocks are the same two things first thing you're gonna replace the block back over there to a dispenser and then it is going to summon summon the item you know relative over there as bow one of them and just tags and your bow and the lower is shooting arrow to teleport so yeah, it'll summon the arrow right there if the blocks are the same. And it does the exact same thing for this one, just if these two blocks match. So yeah, that, that all it does is it just replaces the block here, and then summons the ender bow right here. So yeah, now let's go ahead and go into what the ender bow actually does. I'm going to go ahead and check, set the sidebar here, so let me set the sidebar to ender bow. See there's a bunch of random scores, I'm going to go ahead and reset that as well to make it a little bit easier on you guys. Reset. So, there we go. So you see, I'm holding the bow right now. Uh, I'm holding A ender bow, and I'm getting a score of 1 right now. The second I stop holding it, it goes back to 0. The second I grab it, should go back to 1. Mm. There we go. A little bit of a problem updating. Maybe it's item slot 4. It, yeah, it's a little bit messy. But, yeah. So, what it does, it basically says if you're holding the ender bow, it constantly just sets your score of... So let's start with here. It's just a huge line of these for each one. It says, if the player is holding an ender bow in slot one, or in slot zero, you know, if they're if they're selected item slot is zero, and their inventory in slot zero, they have a bow with the lower student arrow to teleport. It is going to set their score to one. And yeah, and let's see. So four could just be a little bit of a formatting problem. Yes, it is. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so yeah, now this one should work. Yeah, so that's how that that's all that was. And then to reset it, it basically is just constantly setting all their scores of Ender Bow back to zero. So the second you're not holding it, it sets it back to zero. And you gotta make sure this timing is right, otherwise it can get a little bit buggy and it'll like kind of flip on and off really weird. You just have to make sure that this is, this one's either running last or first. So that's what that's doing. Yeah, it just goes up here all the way up through there and up to here. Just saying, if you know this one is slot six, all the way up here to slot eight, 
yeah. So no matter what slot it's in, it's going to work. No, no matter where you have it in your inventory, and keep the ender arrow, like you saw. Now what you saw there, uh, you saw that created, and now it's the score is three. So what it's doing, first of all, it's saying all the players who score off ender bullet at least one, relative to them, an up one. So like right at where they're shooting the arrow from. Set all arrows within a radius of one. Set their score of ender bow to one. So even if, if there's an arrow like even stuck in the wall right here or something, it would set the score, but it's not really want to do that. So yeah, you see, I'll shoot one up. You see, the second I shoot it, its score becomes one. And when it, hits, when it comes back down, it'll do some things. I'll explain those. So yeah, it's setting the score to one the second we shoot it. And then what it does is teleporting all the players who score of ender bows at least one. And it's teleporting the. Um, to all the ender arrows who score it is at least two. Because what it does here, it says, add all entities who score of ender bow at least one, so the arrow, add their score of and add one to their score of ender bow if they're in the ground. So you see, it'll add two, so uh, the second it goes into two, it'll te teleport them. And then, once it hits three, it will kill it. And yeah, of course, it will summon all the ender bows who score at least two, it'll summon a splash potion of harming relative to them. So yeah, summons the splash potion of harming, teleports it, and then kills itself. So see, it flashed two for a second, then we got teleported over here. So yeah, this likes to work like inner pearls. If you like five of them at once, you'll just go in order, in the order that it lands here, 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 here. So yeah, those four. So you know, we can kind of combo. It's kind of interesting. You can sometimes like shoot one. Like, you can even try and shoot an arrow at yourself with this kind of thing if you want to. And you saw that one land right on right by it. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how this works. Let me go ahead and get that out of your guys' way. Get out of there. Get the. Okay, so that's gone. And yeah, that's basically how it works, guys. Customizable crafting recipes. Pretty simple. I'll leave a schematic. But yeah, that's how those guys. That's how this all works. Make sure to download it. Check it out. A lot of work went into this. Make sure to like it up, and if you'd like to see more of my stuff, make sure to subscribe, it really helps out. That's all I got, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, unless I die.